the first reaction we're going to look at here is going to be the endothermic reaction. I have in front of you here two containers of white solids. The first one here in the Erlenmeyer flask is barium hydroxide. It is a hydrate, so uh, there are, is water stuck inside the molecule, like when we did the copper 2 sulfate lab, it had the five waters in there. This one here is an octahydrate, so it has eight water stuck in there. The other chemical I have then here is in kind of pellet form. This is um, ammonium nitrate, the NH4NO3 from the reaction. Uh, and so when I take these two, ammonium nitrate, so two white powders here, and when I take these two, one is barium hydroxide, it is the flaky one here inside the flask. The other one is ammonium nitrate. It is the granular one inside the beaker. They are both in the reaction equation. So I take these two and mix them together then. Explode. We will shortly see a reaction begin. To help them, I'm going to stir them up a little bit. This here is just a squirt bottle of water. <laughs> smell the reaction taking place. No, you can't have made this. later in, in the year more about the speeds of chemical reactions. One thing you might notice though, it's getting kind of, like it's getting kind of slushy. Smell smells like a moment. squirted onto the top of the wood disc has frozen in between the flask and the wood there. I'm able to pick up the wood. If you look inside you can see that it is definitely a fluid in there, a slush, a liquid, which means that our products are well, we took two solids and created a liquid. We created some liquids. Probably since there's the hydrate in there and the barium hydroxide, 
we created water, and then the other products are going to be in what state? <coughs> Aqueous, dissolved in that water. Which you did. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cap on this because there is trace amounts of ammonia that you can smell, um, and ammonia smells not too pleasant. Uh, but I'm going to pass this around. Uh, please just touch the flask. Please don't pull on this. It is just a thin layer of ice and you can pull it off fairly easily. Please do handle it gently, but take it and touch it and feel the uh, uh, outside of the beaker up in this area. Don't, again, hold it down low. Don't get your hands too close to the wood, I'm afraid. Uh, you first off melting uh, the ice that is there as well as just easily breaking that off. But I will pass this around for you to smell. Please also leave the stopper uh, on the flask. Uh, but would you come on up and grab this? Great. 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 Great.